hello my people how are you doing hope you had a nice day and hope you're having a nice day it's been awesome uh, you know sharing exciting reliable and authentic happenings yes this is the best place to be and if you don't know this is saffron media where we give you trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings in nigeria and more and of course yes wiki explained how uh, he was humiliated and uh, some of the calls he received he said he never believed that uh, things like this could still be happening in nigeria that uh, actually that uh, the inspector general of police muhammad adamu called him before the election and asked him to do a lot of things yes details of this will come to you shortly but he said it is so pathetic why they would ask him to do all of that and remember that during the election he was on house arrest because the hotel where he lodged uh, you know uh, was surrounded by policemen and he was not allowed for any reason to go anywhere during the election but you know before then he said he was called by the igp and uh, he said his life on television so it's not like uh, uh this is a, a news that is uh, being uh, a carriage just like that or it's the fake news or something like some of my uh, subscribers would call it sometimes but really he said he's on channel television and uh, he, he said a lot of things about what happened on that day. And I'm sure you want to know because some of these things open our eyes to how things happen right here in Nigeria. Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hey, what are you waiting for? Ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately and also turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yes, guys, please do. Okay, let us dive right into the details of this report and hear what uh, Wiki has to say regarding the Edo State election. Yes, according to reports, the governor, yes, on Wiki of River State, says the Inspector General of Police, Muhammad Adamu, call him on, te on telephone on the eve of the Edo State governorship election last week and ordered him to leave the state immediately. Wiki said this on channels television on Sunrise Daily uh, program on Friday. The governor, who was the chairman of the People's Democratic Party's governorship campaign, said he asked the IGPY Governor Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano State and his Imo State counterpart, Hope Uzodema, who are members of the All Progressive Congress APC were allowed to remain in Edo State, but there was no response from the police boss. Wiki said the IGP was crossed with him because he challenged the illegal deduction of the River State financial allocation for the police fund. The governor said the IG never, never saw me outside. I was inside my room and I got a call from the IG and I must leave Edo State. What surprised me was why should I leave Edo State? I am the chairman of the campaign council and chairman does not mean that after campaign you leave. No, you must monitor what is going on so that at the end of the day, you would be able to write your report. I discovered that the IG's own had nothing to do with the election because I remember that some time ago, my commissioner returned to me from a fact meeting and said there were deductions made to the police trust fund. I asked to approve it because the police are under the exclusive list and not the current, not the concurrent list. I told my attorney general to challenge it. This angered the IG. He further stated that the police boss was angry with him for obstructing the arrest of a former acting managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Joy Nune. Wiki said he never regretted his action because the police were wrong to have attempted to arrest her on the same day she was supposed to give evidence at the National Assembly. When our sister Joy Nune was to be abducted, IG was not happy about my intervention. He called me and I asked him, how could you allow a woman to be taken away at 4 a.m. knowing the security situation in the country today? Why didn't you invite her? He asked. So, Wiki actually explained what happened on the eve of uh, the Edo State election. But remember, he said something here. He said it has nothing to do with uh, the election. He said it was on a personal ground that the IGP was trying to attack him because on so many occasions, he has actually had some kind of, uh, you know, clashes with him on different uh, reasons 
He said, so saying all of this is not because of the election, but he said what, what, what he was surprised about was why he had to call him on the eve of, you know, the election that uh, his other counterparts of the opposition party or of the ruling party were right there. So why his own, why was his own actually different? Why would they call him to, you know, leave the state? He said he was so surprised because other people were there, but on his own, he why would they ask him to leave? But he said he remembered that he had some uh, uh, leftover issues that have not fully been resolved. And uh, he said that he could remember that uh, uh, Governor Abdullahi Gandije of Kano State and his Imo counterpart, Hope Uzodema, were also members of the All Progressive Congress and they were allowed to remain in a do state, but there was no response from the police boss. Well, we can see that, though we can uh, say that it is political, but at the same time, he said he have uh, personal issues regarding some of the things that uh, he would have wanted for his state. But uh, somehow, he said, they, he said somehow what really brought about that was because uh, he challenged the illegal deduction of the River State financial allocation for the police fund. He said since then that the IG never saw him outside and, you know, they've been having some uh, hitches between both of them. Both of them, they've been having hitches between themselves. And uh, since then, that there's been one issue or the other. He said, and secondly, another thing that uh, caused another problem for them was when he further stated that the police boss was angry with him for obstructing the arrest of a former acting managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, that is a, a woman known as Joy Nune. He said uh, he never regretted his action for doing that because the police were wrong to have attempted to arrest her on the same day she was supposed to give evidence at the National Assembly. He said she is their sister and was and must not be abducted in such a way. He said even the uh, Inspector General of Police was not happy about his intervention on that very case. He said he called him and asked him, how could you allow a woman to be taken away at 4 a.m. knowing the security situation and challenges in the country? He said rather he would have just invited her to come for questioning and all others instead of taking her at 4 a.m. as early as that, just trying to arrest her because she was ready to speak up. He said all of this have actually made the IG to, you know, want to work against him. He said, but he thanked God that uh, he was able to stand at the day of on the day of election and was able to take his report and give back to his uh, party at the end of the day. And he said he thanked God because he was able to deliver and there was victory at the end. So guys, that was it from here. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, you have reservations, please drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.